four young Toronto scientists have completed an ambitious celestial mission to study the effects of low gravity on muscle deterioration. And they did it by sending a tube of microscopic worms into Earth's orbit. The four girls began working towards this goal even before obtaining their high school diplomas. The project began four years ago when the University of Toronto put out a call for entries in a student competition to send an experiment to the International Space Station. Annabelle Gravely was in grade 8 at the time and enlisted the help of three other students as well as a scientist from St. Michael's Hospital in Toronto. She had an idea. She uh, was going to compete to send an experiment to the International Space Station. I had no idea that four years later she'd actually send her project into outer space and that we'd be sitting here. Gravely began studying the effects of ALS along with Alice Vlasov and upper year mentors Amy Freeman and Kay Wu. The project was special to Gravely as ALS had taken the life of her grandfather three years earlier. Like a very big aspect of space flight and what astronauts um, face on the ISS or in microgravity is um, something called muscle atrophy, so their muscle deteriorates. Um, and uh, the same sort of thing happens in diseases like ALS. In the summer of 2016, Gravely and her team stood on a launch pad in Cape Canaveral, Florida, and wished their worms bon voyage as a SpaceX rocket carried them into orbit. Interestingly, we found that the worms in space ended up being longer and thicker and compared to the worms on the ground. Basically, she found the opposite of what she anticipated she should, based on what's in the literature. But there isn't that much in the literature. So the fact that Annie found this difference in an area of research that's relatively new that we don't know that much about, this may be a real finding that could be quite significant for looking at uh, regulation of muscle mass. Last week, the students' findings were published in the academic journal Gravitational Space Research.